in this month of establishment, someone may still be asking what it means to be established by God. I believe that our existence and the calling are divinely ordained by God. This gives our lives a sense of meaning, direction, and destiny. We are children of destiny. Chances and the lack of currencies are not our portion. Our lives are intentionally ordained by God. Praise God. You didn't put yourself here on earth. God put you here. And he has already set a word that concerns you. The script of your life is written. Your end is already written. When you read in Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10, the Bible says, For we are his workmanship, his own masterwork. My God, a work of art. Created in Christ Jesus, reborn from above. Spiritually transformed, renewed, ready to be used for good works, which God prepared for us beforehand, taking part which he set so that we will walk in them, living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us. Praise God. Praise God. This verse clearly states that our lives have been prepared beforehand. By who? By God. It's not what the parents are deciding. It's not what the boss of my job is deciding. Our paths are already set. The good life is no longer an option. It is prearranged and made ready for us. Praise God. To be established by God means to recognize that our talents, passion, circumstances are not random occurrences, but part of a larger plan designed by a master planner. Praise God, praise God. I'm not trying to see how things will go. No. Oh God, everything that concerns us have been perfected. When? Before we even appear here on earth, our life is already set. We are already established for success. Praise God. Now what is the role of the word of God in, in establishment? <laughs> God is king. And the Bible says that wherever there is a word of king, there is power. That means if God has said something about us, God is king. And then everything that concerns us is established by the word. When you read in Psalm 138 verse 2, the Bible says, For you have magnified your word above all your name. That means everything that God has said upon us. Nothing can change it. Even God cannot change it. Why? Because he has magnified his word above his name. The word of God can never be overthrown by anyone. When you are established in the world, it makes no difference what kind of government is in place in the country where you live or what the state of economy is. You will be a success. It doesn't matter where you find yourself in this world. If the word of God establishes you, <laughs> you remain impregnable to circumstances of life and they live victoriously all the way. Being established in the word is a recipe for your true success and the lasting prosperity. Man can't give you permanent promotion or prosperity. He can only give you that which is temporal and without foundation. Pastor Chris Oyakirami one day said, whatever man can do for you, he can also take away from you. <laughs> but the good thing is, what belonged to us was not given to us by man. So no one can take it away. That means whatever you are given by man won't last. It will be lost. But glory to God. His divine power has given us all things that pertain to life and the godliness. Glory to God. That's why you must, you must get established in God's word and let it chart the course of your life. Glory, glory to God. That's where your promotion and prosperity lie. That's how you can experience the good life God has ordained already for you to the full. Now, what about the trials and the challenges? They can't change what God has already ordained. When you read in Romans chapter 8 and verse 28, the Bible says, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Challenges do not have the capability of changing the ordinances of God in your life. They come to push you where you belong. 
according to this verse, they work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. Look at the life of Joseph from the Bible, for example. Sold by his brothers, falsely accused by Potiphar's wife, and they thrown in a prison for many years. All these were working together for Joseph to get to the palace. No one can stop you unless you stop yourself. Praise God, praise God. In Matthew chapter 10 and verse 29, the Bible says, Are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin? And then no one of them fall to the ground apart from your father's will. But the very heirs of your head are all numbered. My God. Can you imagine how many heirs someone has? But yet the Bible says the very heir of our head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. The understanding that you are established by God will empower you to pursue your dreams with faith and perseverance. No one can shake you. Your life has been ordained by God, established by the word of the King of the universe. As a righteous in Christ Jesus, your expectation shall never be cut off. Amen blessed.